Hello, it's Talk to Mama. It's great to be back with you again. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I'm happy to be back and on Talk to Mama, you recall. All we do is to help the vulnerable ones amongst us. Yes, that's what Talk to Mama is all about. So, welcome to Talk to Mama Ruby. And you recall, in my last post, I started something. Yes. And thank you so much. I've received a few calls, you know, and I've also had calls to discuss the issues with, you know, quite a few persons. Let's continue. Let the discussion continue. It's all about helping the vulnerable ones and, well, trying to turn around the negative things in our society. So remember, please subscribe to this channel tell your friends and loved ones about it please subscribe so that um, i'll be encouraged to keep putting out this very important uh, information so paternity fraud again paternity fraud we started out with a psychologist um mrs Aoyetunjalimede yes now you have the opportunity of listening to the concluding part of that interview. Are you ready for it? All right, let's go to Mrs. Alimidi. So patriarchy um, is being deconstructed, but um, not, in a, not in a very um, good way. So what, what what can be done? Uh, you know, over the over the years, centuries, decades, you know, women have um, really uh, tried to come up with their own ways of dealing with um, issues. And at the end of the day, look at where we are today. So what can we do now in you know going further to deconstruct um, patriarchy at, at least from the African perspective? Um, you know, we, our world is men's world. Women are always, always at the receiving end. Mm -hmm. And uh, because today women are, are fighting for their rights. Yeah. And the only way they could do that is to fight back. <laughs> and fighting back, they, many of them are fighting back in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. If I say whatever my husband does, I want to do the same, then I'm going to scatter the home. Mm. Because there is always the belief that the husband should take the leading role mm. while the woman follows. Mm. But in the situation whereby the woman wants to rub shoulder mm -hmm. with it's the like man, temporary life. then there will be there there couldn't be two masters in a in a boat. It's mm. going to rock and capsize. So are so, you saying that um, uh, 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 feminism is um, is not something we should uh, women today should is, fight for? Uh, feminism is not uh, it's not a solution to Whoa, patriarchism. That's new. It's not it's not the solution. There is there are other better ways. Wow. You know, so, so, so for instance, they said the man is the head, the woman is the neck. Mm -hmm. And uh, subtly, the neck controls the head. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's the truth. I like and, that. Sure, uh, sure. It's, it's, it's not uh, so visible. You mm -hmm. think the head is the one controlling itself. Mm -hmm. But subtly, it is the neck. Mm -hmm. a, a wise woman that wants to, to be relevant mm -hmm. will not uh, uh, raise shoulder. Mm -hmm. What you will not want to do is for that. Show. That's exactly. Raising you shoulders. don't come to the surface, mm. but you can make quietly quite a lot of influence in your home, not mm. by doing tit for tat. All right. So um, now, so far, we've, we've we've had, you know, we've seen all these issues and uh, we've talked about it. Now we can see that our society is uh, deteriorating, you know, fast. And um, well, from the uh, perspective of an expert, you have. Uh, uh, spoken a lot about um, what we can do now. How do we get these ideas out there? Um, is it um, in the home? Do we start trading, 
you know the young ones in the home or do we begin to um um create you know avenues to talk to people generally or how do you think is the you know best way that we can um we can follow in um trying to reorientate uh, people in our society um, thank you very much ma i believe that um all avenues can be can be explored mm. and uh, what i mean by that is you know when a child is raised properly from the home mm. so because home is the first um, agent of socialization the father the mom you know the the immediate family then the extended family, mm -hmm. the neighbors, and then the, the as as the social circle of that a child keeps expanding, mm -hmm. the child begins to learn different things. So if the reorientation starts from home, mm -hmm. and everywhere the child is exposed to, mm -hmm. is getting the same message, and that is why the message has to build the same, not contradictory messages. Mm -hmm. Our values has to be taught. The, 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 the val African values mm -hmm. has to be taught again. Because I remember when we were in, in, in primary school that uh, there's a, a, a subject we call family living, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we, we learn a lot. That's where we learn how to behave, how to interact how to take care of our environment, how to be a responsible person. Though there is this one we call citizenship education now, mm. but their family living, it, it encompasses a lot of things that has to do with your home. Mm. And when all these values are being taught, it's being taught at home, it's being taught from the first six grades, primary one to six, and uh, by the time you are getting out of there, you are getting into the secondary school, the, 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 the orientation continues. Mm -hmm. Even in the, in the religious centers, the church, the mosque, you are being taught, you know, by the time you are getting out of uh, your, 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 your immediate environment, you are already built. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the good values are already built in you. So mm -hmm. when you, when, when order other values that are alien comes you reject mm. you reject it mm. and though we live in a global global world mm -hmm. where things from different parts of the world comes to us but when even the bible says teach your child in the way it should go mm. when he grows up he will not depart from so it should be grounded exactly exactly and it must start from the home from the home mm. good Good. But um, what about um, um, some other aspects of, you know, our culture? Because um, we're talking about marriage now and um, uh, those issues, you know, arising from marriage. And I remember that, um, you know, in our uh, past, in our traditional past, um, when um, families are coming together, in fact, they... they, they used to have the same then that um when marriages are contracted it's usually between family one family and another and not between family. the individual yes you know uh but that seemed not to be the case again you mm. know in our contemporary uh so that's part of our culture and but uh it's not something that we are promoting anymore. Do you think that um, something could be picked from that? Um, you know, as I said, so that families could investigate. Yeah. You know, families before uh, the two children are exactly. you know brought together. I said earlier that uh, our our traditional African um, system is gradually eroding. Hmm. You know, then families get married to families the yoruba we say aya aya it is that family that is important okay. and marriages are consummated between two families mm. so give... even if you if you even if you marry um a bad uh, wife, wife or a bad, or husband, a bad husband once the family is, is good, good 
you are, you can you can go ahead because That's they know that that family strong we have strong influence on mm. that person you are marrying mm. and they, if anything happens divorce is not is not it's the not solution in fact it's not even an option mm -hmm. because the two families we ensure that the marriage remains but mm. because of uh, modernization and the uh, westernization and sometimes you know looking for green pasture has made a lot of people to to go outside their family setting and uh, you know for instance i have left my parents i now live in maybe lagos or i live uh, somewhere else and i meet somebody there or even i am abroad and i meet somebody there and uh, there is need for me to to marry the person some some young people will not even tell their parents mm. They mm. will just uh, come back home with kids, and mm. uh, they say, "This is my wife." Mm. Mm. You don't even you don't introduce somebody to your parents that this is my spouse. It is wrong. It's a taboo. Mm. Bad you, thing. Exactly. <laughs> then, but today you just say, "Daddy, meet my my wife. <laughs> who married this person to you?" <laughs> You know, because it is the parents who who goes Without out going through the process exactly. <laughs> You know, we we are in a in a in an age of uh, uh, everything is uh, fast fast. Mm. You don't even wait. So even, even, age. Exactly. Even the 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 the, the court. You know, before the court, we give a notice mm -hmm. of wedding. Mm -hmm. It must pass through a certain mm -hmm. number of days. Yes. These days, they don't even observe that. Mm. They put the notice out and uh, they do the wedding immediately because everybody is in a hurry. Mm. And that hurry is what is bringing a lot of trouble into many homes because mm. you don't take time to study the person, to understand the person. Mm. There is individual differences. What is the psychology of this person? Can you, can you live with this person? Mm. Do you understand who this person is? We are always covered with emotions. Mm. And when emotions take over, your judgment mm. is, uh, mm. uh, is, is it's uh, flawed. Fro exactly. Mm -hmm. It's flawed. <laughs> so <laughs> when the judgment is flawed, mm. and by the time you are coming out of that emotion, you that have a trouble already. Exactly. Wow. Mm. Trouble must have come mm. out of it. So, All right. So, uh, uh, well, you, now you're talking about the need for us to balance. Yes. You know, I, because I, our culture, yes. you know, uh, although we cannot go back to what it used to be, but at least we can still, there are still some aspects of it that are really very, important. very rich. Very, we have a very rich culture in Africa and we can't throw it out. We have to take the good parts. I'm not saying that every of our, our cultural values are good, but there are some that are so important that we cannot throw out. Mm. So as we are taking from the Western, because we took the education and we took every bad thing that comes with the, the culture, we conceive it and take out the good ones and, uh, and imbibe the good ones and take out the, the wrong ones, the ones that are not that are alien to us, that are not uh, bringing any good to us. We can leave those ones and marry the two and have a balance. Hmm. Then we can live a balanced life. Thank you so, so much. One last question I okay. want to ask finally. Um, as a psychologist, um, today, this, this issue that has become a trending issue in our society has brought a lot of... Um, um, Word, you know, to several men. In fact, we, some men are depressed now. They are scared. They're not sure because it seems that in every five, you know, cases of families that are tested, sometimes two, at times three, you know, and um, men are worried. What do you think, what would you like to say, you know, to such ones? How, how do they, um, what do you say to them so that they, they can have um, a balance? I, I want to advise men out there. What you don't know does not bug you. Wow. So there's no need for you to 
start digging there's no need for you to dig because the moment you dig it will not only affect you it will affect the children it will affect everyone around you so if your marriage is still intact and there is you have not you have not discovered anything don't dig all i will advise is that you continue to love your kids and love your wife but those whose uh whose time who, has, who, who, <laughs> who, has, time has who had made discoveries <laughs> i just uh, pray that god will help them oh. because the kids too are, are traumatized oh. a child who has been raised by a father and he has that is the person he has known all his life is now being told that he somebody else is his father it can be traumatic yeah let's let's please talk about that you know talk about that because does, does it does it um um does it really matter it matters a lot because there's what we call nature and nurture okay the nature has to do with the biological factors the gene the the, the, what you, you inherited from your parents, you know, your biological parents. Then the nurture has to do with the environment. The person who raised you, the environment where you are raised and all sorts of. Now, there, is a, there are roles that each of these plays in the, in, the, in the life of an individual. You could inherit a gene. The gene is deposited in you. But whoever that raised you has played a vital role in your development. Okay. Because the, the person who, who nurture you played the larger role. Mm. The person is the one who, who, who nurture you. They bond, they love, the attachment, mm. and all of that. It can't just be thrown away on the on the altar of DNA. Mm. No, it can't. That you now know that uh, you carry the DNA of somebody does not change the upbringing that you have gotten mm. from this uh, person. After all, some people donate sperm to help people mm -hmm. who cannot have kids. This is the the era of. Uh, um spam wow. donation that's a very important you know point. where where if i cannot conceive yeah. and I, I don't have egg i can i, I can i can borrow egg or even from buy. my sister even buy. And buy or buy <laughs> so if i buy egg and uh, my husband does not have a viable spam and we bought spam and it's implanted into me and i carried the baby the baby, of course, will not will not have the the the, 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 the DNA of me and my husband, mm. but we are going to provide everything it takes and to that, father and mother a, a a child. Wow. Provide the enabling mm. environment. So, mm. what are we saying? Mm. Are we going to throw all that away? Mm. So what, uh, uh, there's need for us to understand that even Yoruba we say atomo onwoni oton onbini oton onbini oton onwoni that is exactly you know, the, the 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 person that that uh, not all you you and the person that, that not you the person that you know, gave back uh, to you you know yeah, one is playing a larger role yeah. you know yes. so now that you now just discover it's just that we attach so much emotion to yes is that this the issue? idea of um you know having been taken for a ride exactly you know? that, that's where the issue of betrayal of trust betrayal, betrayal, you know, and all betrayal of trust aside that mm. i don't see any big thing the, ch the, the children because you know the the, the the children born into that family they carry that stigma forever mm. because if mm. as old as i am i'm just knowing that the man who raised me is not my father you know one the stigma is there mm. and uh, how do i relate with the new father that i have never known mm. so mm. i feel that um they, they we should not trivialize the the role 
that parental role mm. that is being played by the man who gave uh, who nurtured, who nurtured the children. a child mm. and um, even though there's this betrayal that transfers the atmosphere of that home mm. and uh, as I said there is um, there is room for forgiveness huh? in every relationship wow forgiveness yes forgiveness such a large yes forgiveness <sighs> if if the husband can if the the wife can forgive a man who has kids outside i think the same forgiveness should be extended to the woman who, who, who was found <laughs> in adultery who brought him <laughs> because who brought in children yes because even when that woman was caught in adultery in 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 the bible christ said you know it should be forgiven mm. so there's a place of forgiveness. I think something very important that I, I want to reiterate. The fact that, you know, it's it's for the sake of um, one's um, mental health. Yeah. Um, it's possible that the man reached the conclusion that the other man has simply donated exactly. his spam. Donated. Yes. Because it's possible for you to walk into a spam bank. And buy, and buy. <laughs> you know. So, so I, I, I think it's the mindset. Um, and I, like you have said, I believe the the more we talk about this, um, the more people, you know, begin to um, digest it. You know, think about it, meditate on it, digest it, and um, when you're face to face with it, I know it's not easy. It's I watched. Not easy. I watched. There, there's this. Um, there's this program in in I think it's in one in a station in London. I can't remember the name of uh, the man. Um, he, he does. I can't. I can't even remember the name of the program. But he he helps uh, men to ascertain um, the paternity. Yes, to yes. ascertain uh, the paternity. Uh -huh. So and there's this young man who. Uh, he's, yeah, he's over 40, I, yeah. uh, you know, at least. He's, he's a grown-up. A grown-up man. And he said he wanted to, you know, find out. And they went for the test. And they called in the... When they brought back the test, they called in the man and asked him, how would you feel if uh, you not the result um, comes in uh, negative? Uh, he said, that I won't. Well, I don't feel anything. I mean, I raised him. He's my boy. Mm -hmm. I loved him, you know, and all that. But when the news <laughs> was broken, when he, the man screamed he face to face with the reality. God, <laughs> he broke down completely, you know. So, well, it's about emotions. It's about who we are. Yeah. But um, given the fact that it's a digital age and things are changing fast. I think it's um it's good for us to uh try to begin to train our mind <laughs> so that we build a mindset that can accept whatever yeah. comes your yeah. way. You develop your shock absorber <laughs> already. <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice for the men. Even though I personally I don't belong to the school of thought that believes that a woman should do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. But so when it happens, when some things happen, you just have to, you know, you just have to handle it maturely in such a way that it will not break you. Hmm. And in an attempt to do that, it's for your own good. Hmm. Because if you are not able to manage it, you will just go six feet down. Hmm. Like what happened? to mm, that family yes, yes. the mm. guy is gone now and mm. the woman is enjoying herself with her mm. kids mm. so you are the one who will lose you will lose your sanity you will eventually lose your life mm. so does it worth losing your life for it's not worth it so why not just develop a very thick skin absorb the situation and move on with your life with your life and um, wow. I, I just believe that, um, you know, 
uh, we should encourage uh, more of uh, activities or or seminar or sensitizations that we improve our our mental health wow you know i think um, in nigeria today we don't have a lot a lot of psychologists that are in practice mm -hmm. like we have in the developed world mm -hmm. We, many of us are in the academics, some of us are in the industries, you know, when we, when we have the opportunity to walk into the office of a, counsel, uh, of a psychologist, we, we have some counselors that are practicing, but if you have the opportunity... Oh, we do? That you, yes, we have some counselors that are practicing. In Nigeria? In Nigeria, but oh. there are very few. Okay. Yeah, very few. All right. So, so in case um, we we should. In case we need to get in exactly. touch with them. But there so was say? even mm -hmm. one of some of my colleagues that we are we are trying to organize. You know, a a, a kind of uh, counselors and psychologists. You know, uh, conference so that we can make our services known. Mm -hmm. Let people know instead of going to mountains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and valleys mm -hmm. to a psychologist a professional that will give you the the needed help mm -hmm. instead of uh, jumping up and down there are some 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 help that you need they are professional help mm -hmm. that you need not i'm not saying that um prayers does not mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. our pastors and imams mm -hmm. they are doing well mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the place of professionalism Hmm. is very important all right so if people have places they know they can go to hmm. and they know that their confidentiality is hmm. secured yeah then they will accept so and on that note uh we'll call it a day here um now you heard it um we have experts who can help you you know this channel it's all about helping the vulnerable ones so now you can see that we have um, we have experts in the mental health field we have experts you know in the psychology field and we have them we have them so whatever it is you're going through remember talk to mama darling you will get a relief all right. I want to thank very much our guest today, um, mm -hmm. Mrs. Catherine Alemedi, yes. for coming on the show and for, uh, you know, uh, speaking so much about all the issues that um, we have discussed. I hope um, you're there. We have picked a few points that uh, you can ruminate on later. And remember, in case you want to get back to her or any of um, our other um, experts remember the number to call plus two three four nine zero nine three five 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 seven three two or talk to mama ruby at gmail.com that's our email address i'll be here and i believe you'll be fine just be careful and be cool bye Bye.